in question one of this exercise we have to find the roots of all of these given quadratic equations by factorization so the way we factorize a quadratic expression or a quadratic equation is by splitting the middle term so how do we do that so suppose that we have a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 so what we have to do to factorize is we have to split this middle term bx or this coefficient b into two parts let's say p and q such that p plus q is equal to b the sum is equal to b and p times q the product is equal to a times c so this is how we have to split the middle term and this is what we're going to do in this question okay let's begin with part one so in part one the equation is x square minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0 so what we have to do now is we have to split this middle term minus 3x such that the coefficients are the sum of the coefficients is equal to minus 3 and the product is equal to 1 into minus 10 or minus 10 so the two such numbers whose sum is equal to minus 3 and whose product is equal to minus 10 are minus 5 and 2 so we'll split the middle term minus 3x as minus 5x plus 2x so let's do that so we will get x square minus 5x plus 2x minus 10 is equal to 0 and now this equation can be factorized so from the first pair of terms x square minus 5x let's take out a common factor of x so we get x times x minus 5 and then from the second pair of terms let's take out a common factor of 2 so we get 2 times x minus 5 equal to 0 and hence this quadratic equation can be factorized as x minus 5 times x this x plus this 2 so x plus 2 is equal to 0 and now we have factorized the quadratic into two linear factors we can now easily write the roots of this equation the roots of this equation are x equal to 5 and x equal to minus 2 so let's write the roots here 5 and minus 2 so that solves part 1 now let's do part 2 in part 2 the equation is 2x square plus x minus 6 is equal to 0 so to split the middle term we have to find two numbers such that their sum is 1 the coefficient of x and their product is 2 times minus 6 or minus 12 so those two numbers are 4 and minus 3 so we'll split the middle term x as 4x and minus 3x so let's do that so we will get 2x square plus x which becomes 4x minus 3x this is always split the middle term and minus 6 is equal to 0 now we can factorize this equation from the from the first pair of terms we can take out a common factor of 2x and that leaves us with x plus 2 and then from the second pair of terms we can take out a common factor of minus 3 and that leaves us with x plus 2 once again and now we can take out x plus 2 and that gives us that leaves us with 2x this 2x minus this 3 this is equal to 0 so now we have factorized the quadratic into two linear factors and now the roots are quite easy to write so the roots are the 0 of x plus 2 so x is equal to minus 2 and the 0 of 2x minus 3 so x is equal to 3 by 2 so the two roots of this second quadratic equation are minus 2 and 3 by 2 so that solves part 2 now let's go to the quadratic equation in part 3 so the equation in part 3 is root 2 x square plus 7 x plus 5 root 2 equal to 0 so to split the middle term 7x we have to find two numbers whose sum is equal to 7 the coefficient of x and whose product is equal to root 2 times 5 root 2 that's 10 
So two numbers whose sum is seven and whose product is ten. Those two numbers are clearly two and five. So we'll split the middle term seven x as two x plus five x. So let's do that now, and we will get root two x square plus seven x gets split as two x plus five x, and then we have five root two equal to Zero. Now, from the first pair of terms, so from the first pair of terms, root two x square plus two x, we can take out a common factor of root two x, and that will leave us with x plus root two. And then from the second pair of terms, we can take out a common factor of five, and that will leave us with x plus root two once again, and this is equal to zero. And now we see that this x plus root two, this factor is common. So let's take this out. So we get x plus root two times this root two x. So root two x plus this five. This is equal to zero. So we have managed to factorize the quadratic into two linear factors. And now finding the roots is quite straightforward. The roots, the roots will be. X equal to the zero of this first expression, so that's minus root two, and x equal to the zero of this second expression, which is minus five by root two. So these are the two roots of the quadratic equation in part three. So let's write them here: minus root two and minus five by root two. So that solves part three. Now let's go to part four. In part four, the quadratic equation is two x square minus x plus one by eight equal to zero. So what we can do to simplify this a little bit is we can first take an LCM of eight across all the terms. So that will give us sixteen x square, which is two x square times eight, and then minus x times eight, so that's minus eight x plus one divided by eight. Is equal to zero, and now if we cross multiply the eight, we will get sixteen x square minus eight x plus one equal to zero. Now, what you can note from this quadratic expression, sixteen x square minus eight x plus one, is that it is a perfect square, because you can write this as four x whole square minus two times four x times one. And then this third, this last term one can be written as one square, and this is equal to zero. So now, if you observe this expression, it is of the form a square minus two ab plus b square equal to zero. So we can factorize it as a minus b whole square. So we can write this as four x minus one whole square equal to zero. So the two roots of this quadratic equation are actually identical because the two linear factors of the quadratic are identical. So the two roots are x equal to one by four and x equal to one by four, or we could say that the roots are identical. So let's write the roots here: one by four and one by four. So that solves part four. Now let's do part five. In part five, the Quadratic equation is 100x square minus 20x plus one equal to zero, and once again, just like in part four, this is actually a perfect square because you can write it as 10x whole square minus two times 10x times one, that's minus 20x, and then plus one square equal to Zero. So if you look at this expression, it's of the form a square minus two ab plus b square equal to zero. So you can factorize it as a minus b whole square. So ten x minus one whole square is equal to zero. And now we see that the quadratic factorizes factorizes into two identical linear factors. So the two roots of this equation are actually Identical and those two roots are x equal to so 10x minus 1 equal to 0 or x equal to 1 by 
and x equal to 1 by 10. So both the roots of this equation are 1 by 10. So let's write that here 1 by 10 and 1 by 10. So that solves part 5 and with that all the parts of question 1 are done. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.